Okay, so here we are back at adding this additional washer to space the lever off of the carb body so that we get a bit more play between this component here, the lever, and the bar. And you can actually see there where it's been rubbing. So if I just hold that still for a moment. That rub area there is where it's been rubbing in the past and it probably never has um, worked properly. It's been stiff and binding and uh, that friction has probably made the, the chokes stay open partially um, which would affect the running obviously um, so let's stick that extra washer on there that should be all we need and again a little bit of grease in there wouldn't go amiss either so I shall probably do that but these are going to be completely rebuilt anyway these carbs I'm just using them uh, as an example for this and that, that's much much better uh, you can see right away that that little bit of extra spacing there between the two has stopped all that binding and now you've got a really smooth operation of the chokes wonderful hey eh? look at that marvellous right now the thing I'm not quite sure about is this spring there's so many wrong parts on these carbs and the jets are wrong the pilot jets are wrong the needles are wrong the slides are wrong even this lever is wrong. This is off of an early um, model, probably XS2 or something. Completely wrong end. This is for using with a cable that has a nipple, a separate nipple. Whereas normally you'd buy the when you buy a throttle cable for this late style carburetor, 78, 79 model. Um, the, the inner and outer come together as a combined unit, and the nipple is soldered on, so it's a fixed length. Um, so what it would seem to me is that someone's broken their cable and rather than buy a proper Yamaha cable they've just used any old bike cable or possibly a bicycle cable and they've changed this from an earlier model onto here so that you can now use a nipple and you can use any length of cable and adjust that to suit whatever cable you put in it which is I suppose a useful mod if you get caught out somewhere and you haven't got a Yamaha cable you'd have to do something like that well, let's put this bit back in I'm not really convinced by this part at all until I get my original carburetors off the bike and compare. That just doesn't look the right length to me. And because there's so many parts been changed on this, it would, wouldn't surprise me if that was off of another model because I think that should hold the choke on more fully like that. And it's actually only holding it a slight bit. Actually, it's not even properly aligned, is it? Make sure that's on properly. Why is it when you're videoing everything plays up? Right, yeah, I'm not I'm not at all convinced that that's in the right position. So I won't have to change that as well on this carb. But anyway, it's a much smoother operation now. And I'm happy those jokes are gonna work fine. So, good job, good job. Now what we're going to do is to sort out all the rest of them. New slides, new needle jets, new jet needles, new pilot jets, new main jets, a new gasket set, change that around the other way, giving them a good clean, centre the butterflies, make sure that they're done. And obviously give that a good clean out. In there, can't believe that that's been cleaned properly. And hopefully, we'll get a nice, decent pair of um, replacement cups, a spare set. Oops, a throttle stop screw missing there. Well, that's for the uh, sink, actually, isn't it? That's just, uh, yeah, that's for the initial opening, I think. Is it? No, that's for this carb, isn't it? Yeah, so there's a screw missing there as well. Right then, hopefully, that's helpful to someone. <laughs>